is up guys I am in my house for the next two weeks I have nothing else better to do uh, but to <laughs> try to keep pushing videos out and if you guys are also quarantined like I am um, I might as well teach you guys how to do something I meant to do that <laughs> with a deck of cards. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite flourishing moves uh, that I love to do. It's called the uh, pirouette. It is, it's simply, if you take a playing card here, and you just spin it just like that. You could also use it as a magic trick. If I showed you, discard the two of spades here. Give it a bit of a spin, turn to their card, just like that. Uh, pretty easy, takes a little bit of practice, but hope you guys get this down because Massachusetts is closed until like April uh, 1st and schools aren't going to be open until like the 7th. So hope you guys get this down and show it to your friends uh, unless they're in uh, those bubble boy suits uh, or something like that. So yeah. Alright, so today's cards are actually the uh, Memento Mori's, uh, Chris Ramsey, the OG ones. These are really, really dope. The only thing I really don't care for these are that the faces are extremely hard to read. Uh, <laughs> these aren't really a magic deck. They're much more of a card street deck. But yeah, let's get into the move. So this is called uh, Pirouette. I have no idea what that means. I'm pretty sure it's friends for spin or something like that. Um, but all it is is that you're taking your middle finger in the middle of it, take your index finger, and you're just balancing it and having it spin for a couple seconds. So you, just like that. Well, I should teach something that I'm actually good at and I won't keep dropping the card. Uh, <laughs> the way to do this is you take the card here, you take your middle finger just like that, you balance it on the middle of the card index finger goes right above it so you're holding it kind of like this like pinching it right in the middle like two fingers here pinch it right in the middle so what the action is is that the middle finger doesn't it, the middle finger is doing all the action but it doesn't move where it is it's the um, it, it's just these, these two fingers going like this it's rocking the card back and forth like that. You don't want to go too hard. Uh, you want to go pretty, pretty soft with it. And you want to be a brown dead center in the middle of the card with your middle finger. You, you just want to hold it just like that. Rock it a little bit and spin it a tiny bit. Just to try to get a feel for it and it should balance you should get to the point where you're spinning it a tiny bit you can spin a little bit harder that might happen you're spinning it here yeah when you get good enough you get it spin it pretty fast but you want to go slow with it and there's um a move I can never ever ever get down it's called the uh, padiddle I think it's the same I don't know if it's the same action but you could actually continuously spinning spin it but I've actually seen most cardists do it like this and then spin it on their finger I'm gonna can get it for like s swear to god for like a minute straight I don't know how they do that it, it's really frustrating um, so yeah, just take it here, goes into the middle, you rock it, like you don't, you want it like if, if it was the four spades here, you kind of want your middle finger here and your uh, finger right below the hip right here and just take it back. This um, move is pretty difficult if your hands are dry, you want a little bit of moisture on your fingers to make it a lot easier. And the magic trick that goes with this, uh, really, really simple. 
um, if you're first learning magic, this is a really cool move to do. I actually only really use this where I get myself into a jam, where I told someone to name a card, and I took it. Still a uh, double lift, just like that. And I spun it, and it changed to their card. Usually I use it as an out. Um, if you don't know what a double lift is, I don't, know, I don't think I really need to do a tutorial. Like, every magician on YouTube, there's a tutorial on it. Uh, so, I'm just gonna go over it really quickly. Let's do a pinky break. One, two. You pick up two cards as if there were one. Actually, let me do something a little bit easier. It's five and two reds, and it's really difficult to tell. So you pick up the two cards, like that. So the three, let's do the double turnover again. Take off one card, spin it. It's a lot more magical instead of doing the, um, taking this and like waving it. It's just, it, 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 it loses a lot of effect when you just wave it like that. It doesn't feel like anything's happening. But when you do it like this, for some reason, it feels, I feel like the, um, the spectator feels like it's changing as it's spinning in their mind. The six is here. Turns back to their card just like that. So for the moisture part of this, um, I want to show you guys a secret. Not a lot of magicians I see use this. Uh, let me go grab something real quick. This is the stuff right here that you want. You want this as a magician. I don't know why, but a lot of magicians don't use this. A lot of them don't really know uh, of it. It's a uh, corn huskers, yeah, corn huskers uh, lotion, heavy duty hand treatment. You get a whole package of these for like 10 bucks on Amazon. I don't remember how much, but it's pretty, pretty cheap and you get a whole, uh, a whole crap load of them. I would leave a link down in the description uh, for you guys, but this is literally just hand lotion without any oils uh you know like when as magicians when we buy expensive decks of cards like these are like 10 12 dollars a deck uh you can't really use that much lotion the oils on the cards make them brown and they stick together and they don't last as long this here it has no oils and it also does hand treat it's also like hand treatment my hands are still a tiny bit ashy but they still uses a lot and does give you a lot more ow ow that actually hurt it gives you a lot more um what is the word i'm looking for moisture on your hands like it's a lot stickier so sort of drying your hands so see that like literally that's just me squeezing my fingers together or i'm spider-man uh, and i'm hope damn it i wish i was spider-man uh, <laughs> so yeah it, it gives you a lot more play with because there are very specific moves that you cannot execute with dry hands um, I don't know how people do that I get really bad dried and cracked hands there are times where I would literally just be walking around somewhere and I could just feel something running down my hand and it's blood because my hands were super super dry yeah guys that's really it this move is it's very very simple not too hard uh the key of this floors is just to keep it completely balanced right on your finger uh just takes a little bit of practice it usually takes about a day to get it down um yeah i, I am stuck in my house for the next two weeks not really doing much so i'm gonna try to be pumping out content on youtube and also on instagram and i want to see if i can get 200 uh subscribers on my youtube before the two week period ends. And I think I might do a very special video uh, when I hit 200 subscribers. I don't know, I might do it prior, I might do it uh, when I hit it, but I'll try to decide that. And yeah, I, uh, that's really it guys. Thank you so much. Uh, definitely do check this stuff out. This works. I've been using this for like 10 years now and every time I take it out, oh, it looks like cum in a bottle every single time but it actually it smells really good there are times where i literally have to smuggle this into the airport for my uh buddies in minnesota to use it and <laughs> yeah i usually put this in my uh i usually put this in my um not your carry-on what's the one when they ship it out or whatever 
yeah, I usually keep it in there and uh, have let everyone try it out. Because I would love every magician at conventions. I wish they sold these at conventions too. Amazing, amazing stuff. Instead of that weird uh, off the fly stuff you just put your fingers in. No, but thank you so much, guys. Um, that's really it. Uh, really not much else to talk about. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. Uh, there will be more content coming out. And uh, catch you guys next time.